Today, I will make a comprehensive video covering all the knowledge about the Soul Knight prequel game, from basics to advanced, so that players can perform at their best in the upcoming season. I believe that in this video, both pros and newbies will discover things they didn't know, as I myself have come across some things despite having extensively researched the game. Class Selection Choose a class with powerful AoE skills, such as Pyromancer with Volcanic Rift and Flamethrower, to farm experience quickly. Alternatively, Warrior with Whirlwind Slash can hit more enemies, though not as wide as Pyromancer. Equipment Preparation You need to prepare an appropriate set of equipment for the class you have chosen. You can return to S0 to farm it as quickly as possible. To determine how to farm it, you need to consider the equipment you want on which map, and then go to that map to farm. For beginners, it's recommended to play and farm at S1 without returning to S0 to save time. Leveling up quickly. Complete one map round to get Valkyrie, then farm in Valkyrie for fast experience. If you can't handle it anymore, return to other maps to farm equipment or stones and then go back to Valkyrie for express farming. Focus on Fatebound over Legendary Gear. Don't worry about Legendary Equipment, focus on Fatebound instead. The right combination of Fatebound will significantly strengthen you. Concentrate on leveling up your weapon, as having a powerful weapon is crucial. Make sure to strive for enough Fatebound for your weapon. Personally, I don't have time to upgrade an orange weapon, so I stick with a plus 9 blue weapon, which is already quite powerful. After S1, I plan to focus on fast farming to obtain the best equipment later on. Fast Farming Setup Equip gear with movement and attack speed bonuses, high damage weapons to quickly clear mobs and defeat bosses. Pick fruits on maps for faster card farming. Aim for gear with 3 fate bound buff amplification for longer buff durations. Quick Fatebound Acquisition Purchase Fatebound from shops and maps where they are available. If the desired Fatebound isn't in shop, buy equipment with one Fatebound to forge and gain an additional Fatebound. This method often yields the desired Fatebound. Legendary Equipment Farming Farm directly from bosses, especially the boss, Elite. Farm cards to exchange for equipment, a reliable method.
Material farming. Farm stones for equipment forging and fate-bound exchanges by selecting maps with many mobs, like Haven. For have enhanced stones, face elite bosses to receive a lot of equipment and dismantle high-level equipment for better stones. Completion of difficulty levels. Strive to complete all difficulty levels for maximum benefits. Even though it may take a few days for less experienced players, following these instructions should make it less challenging. And here are some game tips. Use fruit juice to increase luck when farming cards. Purchase a bag to have more space. When the bag is full, sell items for gold. When you feel you have enough gold, dismantle items to receive enhancement materials. Finally, store some important equipment in the warehouse. Remember to find the NPC for crafting fruit juice. Regularly check NPC Tristan after two or three map runs. This NPC often picks up good items in the map when you forget. You need to defeat the Arid Sand map to unlock this NPC. You can reset attribute and skill points, so feel free to allocate points for easier battles. To unlock this NPC, complete the Haven map. Gather plenty of enhancement stones and gold before deciding to enhance equipment for a higher chance of success. Every Saturday, there's a gold crab boss. You can farm gold or legendary equipment there. Prepare a level 1 equipment set for new characters to farm the gold crab's legendary gear. Use vouchers, keys, and gems wisely. Save them when not really necessary. For example, use a strong equipment set to win as much as possible. When you can't win anymore, use keys or vouchers to obtain high-level equipment to make winning easier. Turn off screen shake if your device is weak to reduce lag. When playing Valkyrie, choose the strongest boons. These can make enemies stand still or disperse their focus, helping you avoid taking damage. Keep the equipment you like, don't worry about its level. You can level it up when you obtain Lydite. I think with this information, you're well prepared to start the new season. There may be some shortcomings, and I will supplement them when the new season begins, combined with new features in the upcoming season. Wishing you all a great day. Thank you so much for your support. Goodbye.